It is the night before I am leaving for Vegas for Pokemon Go Fest, and I, I'm i just so excited. I, I feel this tendency to, when I'm really overly excited about something, especially something that uh, is on the nerdier side, I feel this, this urge to shut it down. Like, oh, it's stupid, or no one's gonna care about this, and I am deciding right now that for the next two days and in this vlog i am doing none of that i'm going to be completely unabashedly just so excited so nerdy and uh i'm, I'm not gonna try and shove that down because the, if there was ever a time to just uh let my freak flag fly it is this weekend because i am going to las vegas for Pokemon Go Fest. So for Christmas this year, one of the things that my dad put on his list was to go to Pokemon Go Fest. And then when I saw that it was gonna be in Vegas, which is, I don't even know how long the drive is gonna be tomorrow. What is it? Five hours, six hours? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Not not too far from San Diego. I was like, let's freaking go. I got us tickets. I also got us like the extra add-ons for the tickets. So we can go both days, Saturday and Sunday. And we have the egg enthusiast boost. So uh, we have a shortened egg hatching distance and then also the raid lovers bonus so we're gonna be doing all sorts of raids my dad was really surprised he said he didn't think anyone was actually gonna do it and uh we are both just so excited my dad and i have been playing pokemon go together since it came out which is wild to think about but that was like seven years ago now and i think that was summer 2016 right like that summer i feel like just everyone was playing Pokemon Go. Like it was such a moment. And since then, my dad and I have continued to play together. We've done so many community days together. We've done so many of the special research events together. I think there's a vlog clip somewhere of me and my dad when we went to Spain together hunting for Mr. Mimes. If I can find that, put, put it here. We are now out by this beautiful church out here in one of the plazas and <gasps> a Mr. Mime. It's the only Pokemon you can only catch in Europe. Okay, hold on. This is getting serious, guys. Hit him with the banana. The banana? The banana. Then he won't run away. Banana. What do you think? <gasps> I got a Mr. Moon. Look at him. Look at him. Point being, uh, Pokemon Go is not only like it's just a fun hobby of mine, but it's something really special that my dad and I share. And so getting to go to this event together, I'm I'm just so, so excited. And it's gonna be so cool because it's like, yes, there's cool stuff going on in the app, but it's also like an in-person festival. So basically anyone who has a ticket and it did sell out, so I'm glad I got the tickets in advance. Ticket holders will have special things unlocked within their app when they're at the park that it's taking place at, which is is Sunset Park. So there's like special research and raid battles and increased shiny rates and new shinies. There's gonna be a shiny Kecleon, which I'm really hoping to get. Um, so there's like the in-app part, right? But also there's, it's supposed to be like really cool decorations and areas and also just like 50,000 other Pokemon nerds, which is just so up my alley. I am so excited, so excited to experience it with my dad. My mom is also coming, but she doesn't play Pokemon Go. She's just going for the vibes, cause it's Vegas. So we'll all get to, you know, hang out, go to the casinos, go out to dinner in the evening, and then during the day, she's just gonna chill while my dad and I are raiding it up, catching all the shinies, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so me, my mom, and my dad are gonna be driving out tomorrow. I think we're gonna try to leave around 10. And then I'm staying two nights, but they're staying three nights, cause they're gonna drive back. But I didn't wanna be away from Grace any longer, so I decided that instead I would just fly home late Sunday evening. I'm a little sad about leaving Grace, but I, I don't think this would be like the best event for her at this age. So she and Steven are staying home. They're gonna have a nice fun weekend together. And Steven is just like such an amazing dad. Like he's so capable. That's not my worry at all. I know they're gonna have an amazing time, but you know, she's my baby. I'm gonna miss her. And actually kind of funny, the weekend after this, Steven is going to Vegas just with his parents. We're basically swapping and I'll be home with Grace for the weekend. So. I'm very excited. I have been prepping for essentially like the last month. I got tons of Pokeballs. I saved up some coins too, so I could increase my item storage and my Pokemon storage. So I think I'm sitting pretty. I think uh, game wise, I am good to go. Real life wise, uh, not quite. I still need to pack. So let's do that. <laughs>
Good morning! Today's the day, today's the day. I am so excited. We got into Vegas around, I think it was like 4.30 last night. We actually made pretty good time and um, we had a great evening. We walked around some of the casinos, gambled a little bit. I won 20 bucks on blackjack. Uh, had an awesome dinner, of course, played lots of Pokemon Go and we're just so, so excited. So uh, it's about seven o'clock right now. We're looking out the window at uh, a view we have of the Mirage. Oh, we we watched the volcano show there last night too. It was very cool, lots of fire. So I guess it wasn't very cool then, it was very hot. Um, so we're just having some breakfast and coffee now. The event starts at Sunset Park at 10 a.m. today. So I think my dad and I are gonna try to get there around 9.30. So my mom's gonna drop us off at the park and then uh, she's gonna get to have a fun day around here. We're gonna have an amazing day at the park and I just couldn't be more excited. Although I will say I had a dream last night that Pokemon Go Fest was just in someone's backyard, but we still had a great time. I was just like, like, oh, this is just some dude's backyard. So, I mean, if that's the bar, I know it's already gonna be amazing. <laughs> All right, I am dressed and ready for Pokemon Go Fest. I got my backpack with all my chargers, my jacket, my water bottle, everything I could need to keep me uh, fueled and ready to, to catch them all, for lack of a better phrase. Is there a better phrase? I don't think so. <laughs> people. I found our people. So we're in the park. The event starts in like five minutes. So we've just been walking around, looking at everything. It's just so cool to be like surrounded by everyone. The decorations are really cool. Oh my gosh, there's a freaking volcano and it's erupting. <laughs> okay, it just started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Primal Kyogre and Primal Grudon have awakened. I know what I'm about to say is mind-boggling, but Team Go Rocket has offered to work with us. Oh, we're teaming up with them. I don't know, it's kind of against my morals. Yeah. Now hurry, there's no time to lose! Find and spin, a spin to poke us up. Oh, so there's eight numbered ones we have to go through. Use an incense, feed your body three times. We should do that now before we forget. Wow, look at the map now. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get going. Shiny Pikachu with a hat. There's clues on this map, and Team Rocket left some supplies in here that we need to investigate. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, I've got five 10Ks about to hatch. Let's see. Yes! Tropius. Let's see? Torkoal! Look at that new Pokedex entry. Another Torkoal. Another Tropius. Give me a Relicanth. Ah, Torkoal. I'll take it. Ah, oh, it's shiny. You got a shiny Torkoal. Oh my gosh. I've been having connecting issues for like the past 30 minutes. It is so frustrating. If I just keep trying to restart it. I mean, with this many people using the network at the same time, like it's bound to happen, but gosh dang it, do I feel like I'm missing out? <laughs> Come on. My dad was having issues earlier and I wasn't, and now he's good and I am not. All right, I'm back in. Oh, I've got an egg hatching. Trophius, nice. Now the thing that I have to do that keeps crashing my phone is take a snapshot of my buddy Pokemon in this habitat. And every time I open this, yeah, this this is what happens. But I can't just not do this step because then I won't complete the research quest. <gasps> oh my gosh, finally I'm in. Okay, here we go. There he is, oh my gosh. Look at that big boy. I need a big boy. All right, it is one o'clock. Service is strong again, so spirits are high. We are on step three, step two. Yes, step three of our special research. Just having a grand old time, about to do another Groudon raid. All right, we took him down. Now let's see if I can catch him. Wow, got him on the first throw. Heck yeah. And another one, back to back. 
still looking for that shiny though. So there's four different habitat areas in the park. Each is like themed to a different a different theme, I guess. And in each place, they have big speakers playing Pokemon music, which just, it, the vibes are immaculate. <laughs> right now we are over in, what's the name of this one? Something Mist? Eerie Mist. Eerie Mist. I am waiting for this Kyogre raid that I'm going to do to start. Um, but little update on the uh, app connectivity issues situation. It was pretty much like a park-wide, app-wide issue. Everyone was having issues with the app. Um, and Pokemon Go actually put out a statement that, you know, apologizing for the issues and that they are extending the event special activities to go citywide through Las Vegas for ticket holders from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. tonight as well. When it's every Everything's supposed to end at 6 p.m. tonight in the park. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna get to, to play some more later too. Okay, hold on. Raid is starting. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just hatched a shiny Torkoal. That's what you wanted. Oh, yay. Wow. My dad and I wanna get Pokemon Go Tour shirts, but this morning, the merch line, I mean, it was it was unreal, <laughs> like absolutely wild. Uh, but we are walking by it right now. And while still long, it is substantially shorter. So I think we're gonna get in line. So that's the merch booth. This is the line now. This morning, it went all the way back and wrapped around the corner. It was so long. Shiny Kecleon, hey. shiny Kecleon. I've been hunting it all day. Oh my gosh. And in line for the merch, wow. Oh wow, okay. Secured. Look at that handsome boy. So, so far today I have caught seven shinies. So everything from this core fish up. I think the, the shiny Kecleon has to be my favorite, but also shiny hat Pikachu, shiny unknown, and shiny Torkoal. All fantastic, I'm so happy. <laughs> Literally 15 minutes later, shiny Kecleon number two, wow. I hit it with an excellent curve, let's see. Heck yeah. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. They have these mobile power banks set up throughout the park so that people can recharge their phone. And they designed them to look like Pokestops. Our last spin to stop. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! I've got to activate a primal reversion for this step of the research. This is a brand new thing. I'm very excited. My dad already did it. Here we go. Oh, I better not get distracted and fall in the lake. <laughs> oh, it even registers as a new Pokemon. Oh, that is cool. I'm about to take down Cliff and the music could not be more fitting. Heck yeah. <laughs> Research complete. Oh, that's it. That's it. Now I have to catch 385 from each region. Wow, that's a lot. Well, we did it. Well, as you saw, day one of Pokemon Go Fest was freaking fantastic. It was so much fun. Afterwards, my mom came and picked us up and then we all went out to dinner, went to the casino for a little bit, and uh, now we're back at the hotel room and we're gonna watch the lava show at the Mirage because we've got a nice view of it out our window. That starts in like five minutes at nine o'clock. And then my mom and I were talking about going back down, maybe walking around the strip a little bit more. My dad and I did play some more Pokemon Go um, after dinner and there's still another hour left of like the raids and the special stuff. So so I kind of want to play a little bit more. And also there's this big Ferris wheel thing. It's called the high roller. And my mom was saying that she's always wanted to do it, but not to put you on blast to dad, but my dad's not, not a big fan of heights. So she was really excited that I was interested and I'm very excited that she's interested. So I think we might do that. Maybe walk around a little bit more, maybe play a little more Jack Black. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what the night in Vegas has in store. My parents were watching me vlog and they just informed me that I said Jack Black black instead of blackjack Stop. Black. so uh, i don't know maybe we'll maybe we'll place maybe we'll meet jack black while we're playing blackjack 
I, maybe I manifested it for us. <laughs> this is my outfit for tonight. I have this jumpsuit from Madewell, belt is from Gucci, and black leather jacket is from Eloquy. It's pretty chilly out, so I'm glad I brought this because this is actually really cozy and warm. And the jumpsuit is also just super like breezy and comfortable, which is good <laughs> because after running around at, at Pokemon Go Fest all day, I can't imagine wanting to put on like, like a, a tight fitting dress or anything, which I almost brought as my outfit for tonight. So very happy with my <laughs> with my packing choices. One minute until the ladder. It's the next day. Hello. We're all just uh, sitting around chatting, having our coffee. And my mom brought something up. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I have to share this on the vlog. I had forgotten about this, but in kindergarten, when I was student of the mom, they had you do a little, you know, presentation about you and what you want to be when you grow up and what you like. And I wrote what I want to be when I grow up. You were wearing a shirt that you had made in puffy paint that said Misty. And you wore your hair in a beret on the side. And you wrote that you wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. And here I am. I'm, I'm living the dream. That's right. Tell Miss Donaldson I finally made it. She made it. She achieved her dream of being a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> okay, I am getting ready for Go Fest, and I'm really excited for day two. I I had such a great time yesterday. Whoa! Hold on, you're balancing on my toiletries case. <laughs> okay, this is not this is not staying. So I'm just gonna get ready, and then we'll chat after because this is this is not working <laughs> okay the like the vlogging while i was getting ready was fun in theory but uh didn't really work out couldn't quite get the camera right so uh, i think this is gonna be better just sitting at the little coffee table looking out at vegas camera is safely positioned on the table on the tripod <laughs> so uh pokemon go fest day one so much fun i left feeling really satisfied by the experience i had an absolute blast even if i just came for the one day i feel like i would walk away being like that was so worth it i loved it i thought they did a great job with the special research i also loved that we had to like look for clues in the real life space like at the rocket hideout and on the map that was really fun and it was fun to like walk around and hear everyone trying to you know track everything down to the themed areas are also super cool where they have the four habitats and one of them had the lighthouse and one of them had the volcano i thought they could have done a little bit more with that just because like how often do you get to be playing Pokemon Go in a real physical space that's themed to the game. I, I thought that they could have gone the extra mile, but I thought it was great the way they did it. Just being around everyone was really fun and the atmosphere and just the energy was so high. There was that that kind of group dip though in the, the energy and the atmosphere when the connectivity issues with the app were happening. And actually last night I was reading on the Silk Road subreddit, which is like a subreddit for Pokemon Go. And it sounds like my dad and I had kind of like the, the least of the problems. There were some people who were saying they couldn't connect to the app for like three hours. And had that been us, I think that would have drastically changed my outlook on this experience because having it just be 45 minutes, like it was frustrating, but it was fine. And I mean, like, I get it, right? Like there's 50,000 people in one area using <laughs> their phones at the same time, but also like they knew that was happening. So couldn't they have prepared a little bit more? I don't know. I just feel really bad for the people who, you know, traveled all the way out here and then could only play for like half the event yesterday. So hopefully today will be better. Oh, the other thing that I was just a little disappointed by was the merch offerings. I thought that having this big gathering of Pokemon nerds that are all usually playing remotely, they would want to take advantage of that and have a lot of really cool merch, but they only had one shirt and it was a cool shirt. My dad and I got it. Here's what it looks like. I would show it to you in real life, but we left it in the car. But I thought they would have more like Pokemon merch, you know, stuffed animals and, and notebooks and all the things and multiple shirts and sweatshirts. And uh, another thing I thought would have been really cool is in, if you don't know, well, if, if you don't know Pokemon Go and you're still at this point in the vlog, first of all, hats off to you. Bless you. <laughs> But um, if you don't know, there are three teams within Pokemon Go and you have to join uh, one of the teams when you start playing. And so there's this like kind of team versus team dynamic. 
And I thought they would have had like merch booths for each team so you can go and rep your team. I don't know, I thought they could have done more with that. And uh, I, I would have spent more money for sure. Um, but overall, I thought it was super fun. I had such a great time and I'm really excited to do it again today. I don't know if it's gonna be like new special research for day two or if it's just gonna be like a continuation of yesterday or if it's just gonna be like if you didn't complete it yesterday, you have more time today. So I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited to see it. And I think one of just the, the coolest parts about being there was just hearing people kind of randomly shout out when they were so excited that they caught what they had been looking for or they found a shiny or whatever it was. Like all throughout the park, you'd hear people like, oh, let's go. And all their friends are jumping around them. And that happened to my dad and I like, probably half a dozen times. We we had so many good finds. Actually, way probably probably more than a dozen. It was just so fun and exciting and like I was kind of talking about at the beginning of this vlog where I didn't I didn't want to ever feel like I have to kind of shut myself down. At Pokemon Go Fest, if anything, I was like, let's turn it up to 100. I am so excited. I can let that excitement show. Everyone is in the same boat and it was just a really really fun atmosphere. And just so fun to do with my dad. Like not only are, have my dad and I been playing Pokemon Go forever, but we've been playing just Pokemon games as a whole, like as long as I can remember. We were just talking about how um, when I first started playing the Game Boy Advance games, I was probably like, I don't know, six or seven, but I couldn't ever figure out how to get out of like the caves and the rock tunnels. I'd get all stressed out about it. And so he would always help me do it. And like to go from that to now us running around a park in Las Vegas, trying to figure out the puzzle and complete the quest. It was just, Really fun, really full circle. And then last night, my mom and I had an absolute blast. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm having so much fun with my parents on this trip and I'm just so grateful for, for them. And it's, we've just had so much fun together and I, I'm excited to go home. I miss Grace so much. I was FaceTiming them last night and I just, I'm just so excited to see her. But I, I'm so glad I came. I've had so much fun with my parents and I am a little sad that it's ending, but it's not ending yet because we've got day two. So my dad and I are planning on leaving the event a bit earlier today than we did yesterday because he really wanted to do the Caesars Palace buffet here and my flight is this evening. So we wanted to try to work that into the schedule if we could. I think we're still, we're still gonna be able to if there is special research, I think we'll be able to complete it. <laughs> curve golden raz was a, a good chance but i hadn't caught one yet i'm so excited so there isn't any additional special research for the second day it's just people who are either only coming to day two or didn't finish the research yesterday can continue that so my dad and i are just gonna do a bunch of raids and uh try to see how many pokemon we can catch for that masterwork challenge where we have to catch i think 385 from each of the first three regions. Oh, also, this is the shirt for the event that we got yesterday. And I'm wearing it, I love it. <laughs> collapsible water bottle absolutely clutch this has been something i've traveled with for many years i just love it can't really do it one-handed but there we go it expands out like this it's also silicone so it's very lightweight easy to clean and it's been even more clutch for pokemon go fest because they have these hydration stations but i don't want to carry around a heavy water bottle and i need to be hands-free to some extent so when i'm not drinking from it i can just collapse it put it back in my bag i'll link it in the description I posted a 
video on Instagram of me just playing Pokemon Go, but like of my phone, and everyone is roasting me for how destroyed my phone case is. I didn't realize how bad it was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I need a new phone case. I completed my Hoenn collection. Woohoo! Oh, I just love the music. My goodness, what a day, what a weekend, what, what a trip. This was so much fun. It is almost five o'clock. I just got back to the room. My parents are still at the buffet, which was so amazing. They had a lot of really, really good vegan and vegetarian options. It was the, uh, I think it's pronounced Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. And everything was like marked and labeled so clearly. It just made it super easy for me. It was delicious. So since my parents aren't on any time crunch tonight, they're just gonna hang there for a little bit longer. We just said our goodbyes. And uh, I came back to the the room to grab my purse and in like 15 minutes here. I'm gonna go downstairs and hop in an Uber to the airport. I had already packed up all my stuff this morning because I didn't wanna miss out on any Vegas time that I could today. And then actually my parents are just gonna take my suitcase back with them so I don't have to worry about a bag, which is nice. So yeah, Pokemon Go Fest today was awesome. It was, it was different than yesterday because there wasn't any new research quest. So my dad and I just walked around. We did a lot of raids, caught a lot of Pokemon, talked to people, which it's just, it was so fun to talk with everyone there because there's people of all ages from all different walks of life people from like all different countries too it was so funny like the it was the the pinnacle of like we don't speak the same language but we're all speaking the same language. We walked by this guy who was like so excited, like talking to his friends. He was speaking, I think in German. So he's like, German, 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 shiny trophyist, German, 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 German. We're like, I know exact, I know exactly what you just said. Congrats, man. <laughs> you got a shiny trophyist. It's funny too, because the, like the demographic of Pokemon Go definitely skews older than you would think. My dad and I were talking about it and we guessed that like the average age of the person there was probably like early forties, but there were people of all ages. Like there were families, you know, with kids as young as like five playing alongside their parents. But then we also saw like a lot of elderly couples that were playing together there. It, it, it was just really cool. I am so glad that I did this. Going into this, I was like, do I have my expectations too high? But no, it, it exceeded my expectations. And even aside from like the Pokemon Go stuff, it was just really fun to be in Vegas with my parents. I have so much fun with my parents. And I was joking that like this, this was my, my middle child dream. <laughs> I was living it like just me and both my mom and dad. I love my siblings, but it, it was fun to just have it be me and my parents. And I don't, I don't think we've ever done that before. I've taken trips with my dad, I've taken trips with my mom, but never the three of us. And it was so fun. After this, my dad and I are both very interested in going to future Pokemon Go Fest. I don't know, maybe this will be an annual thing, the Pokemon Go Fest vlog. I, I just had all the warm fuzzies walking around and, and catching invisible monsters with my dad in a random park in Las Vegas. I loved it. It was so fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the journey. Oh, also I'm going to put all the shinies that I caught at the event on screen here, just in case anyone is interested. And uh, because I'm, I'm proud of my little haul here. I did good, right? So yeah, that, that is it for this vlog. That is a wrap on Pokemon Go Fest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.